Sup guys, I haven't recorded in a while, mostly because of weather. Um, last time I didn't record this. Um, signpost here, it just explains the grades. So about five and six, someone's vandalized it. But um, yeah, I'll just go here. And if you just pause the video, you can hopefully read that. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna get a, vi a video of Electric Avenue and Weta. Um, today's not the best conditions. It's pretty horrible. The only good thing is the weather. Um, it rained last night and the day before. So the track's pretty much just soaked um, on the way up. It was just nothing but mud. So, and yeah, because that area is covered. So if that's pretty much mud, I wonder what Electric Avenue and West is gonna be like. So, yeah, and I'm not too good at the moment as well. I'm sick, so if you hear me coughing, spluttering, or sneezing, um, yeah, that's because I'm sick. <coughs> uh, yeah, apart from that, it's just been unlucky with the weather. Um, being winter and all, I'm probably not gonna get too many good days. But when I do, the tracks are gonna be pretty much horrible. So yeah, um, if I forget to clean the screen, I'm sorry, because I'm probably gonna get mud on it. Can't help you with that. Well, I mean, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, so, just bike into the track. <coughs> oh. Um, it's not, it's not a southerly, it's a northerly, so it's not cold wind, uh, but it is fresh. So, had to put on an extra layer. Never, whenever you're going biking, make sure you've got an extra layer just in case. Last thing you want to do is crash and all you're wearing is shorts and a t-shirt. Because if it gets cold or wet, you're pretty much doomed. Yeah, so that's the Hills Road Track. Summer, next year I might do bull run with my dad or something. But yeah, see, this is what I mean. Muddy. Just went slow this just in case because don't want to splatter you guys with mud. Okay, right. <coughs> Lich Avenue, grade three. I feel like it should be grade two, but they've graded it three. Here we go. I'm probably, gonna, probably not gonna go too fast just because of the conditions, but I'll try my best just to give good footage. Oh no. I just tried to dodge a couple puddles there. Yeah. Um, this track's not too bad when it's wet, it's just how much wet, how wet it is. Uh, it varies in skill depending on that. But at the moment, I'm pretty sure I can do it. But for the record, I've never biked up old coach when it's been so wet. Yeah. Oh yeah, sneaky line. Whoa. Oh yeah. Yeah, this, this is probably going to be better footage. I did video um, Millage Avenue once before, but I didn't um, put it online just because it was horrible. Okay, these corners are going to be horrible because they're just full of wet clay. And my tyres, when they're wet, just don't work well together. Oh, my load. Whew. That went up the back. Okay, down we go. Oh, and um, if any of you watching ever go biking with me and you're doing a track that you've never done before, don't get camera courage, that's what I like to call it. Um, if you don't know what I mean by that, it's basically you're doing something new and you think you can do it, but you've never tried before, but you're only doing it because of the camera. Please don't do that. Last thing I want to do is video you recording. I'm um, video you recording. Video you crashing. So I just don't like seeing that. But, uh, yeah, a couple of these corners are pretty dangerous like that. I just skidded my both tires down that. Went, oh, it's cold and wet. Not that my shoes were dry anyway. Oof. Whoa, somebody's come down here and skidded all over the place. Made it worse for everybody else. You know that failed attempt to jump in. I'm probably not gonna, oh my goodness. Whoa. Talk about skiddiness. Show you what I did there. Whoa, it's slippy as hell. 
yeah, as you can see, um, those are my tire tracks. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> Just gonna get off the slippery clay. You yeah, know, you see what I mean by um, slippery conditions. Slam my brakes way too late. Probably could have been, I probably would have skidded either way, but that's just a warning of what wet clay does. I think I got brake fed or something. I'll just check my brakes real quick. What? Hang on a second. Okay, my front brakes are good. They're just faded, so that's why I crashed. If you don't know what brake fed is, it's when you squeeze your brakes a lot, but they just don't kick in. And it's quite horrible. It's the most effect, it does that a lot on really wet or really dry surfaces. When it's really dry, it's real dusty, causing no grip. Obviously when it's wet, it's really slippery, causing no grip. When it's wet, like today, water gets in the brakes, and the brakes just slide over the brake pads, which isn't what is supposed to happen. When it's real dry, dust gets in there and does the exact same thing. Brake fade is quite a pain in the butt. Whew. Hopefully you guys don't have mud on the camera. I haven't checked it yet. Um, hopefully I don't crash like that on wet. Oh my God. And I used to call that a mud pit. That's got a whole new meaning now. Whew. Um, the only reason I stopped there was to show you the mud and also because I skidded. Whew. Okay. All right, this bit's probably fine because it's mostly just gravel. Oh my god, I don't even know. I, I don't know if I should do widow in these conditions. Whoa! Whew. I'm skidding all over the place. This is not good. Okay, I'm just glad that I did. Yeah, the um, crash that I did earlier was, yes, embarrassing because it's on camera. I'm still going to publish this because um, I don't get injured, so it's nothing bad. But uh, I'm just glad the bike landed on top of me and didn't go flying away from me. Because if I landed underneath the bike, um, <laughs> I landed on top of the bike. If you land underneath the bike, it's a very different story. Okay, uh, I'll show you the sign for wetter. Uh, okay, so, yeah, this is wetter. It's grade three, just like Electric Avenue. Um, as it says over there is Connect 4. That goes back to 4 degrees if you want to go up. Try again. Um, yeah, so this is what I just went down here. Don't know if you can see that. That's Connect 4, 4 degrees, wetter, which I'm probably going to do, it's probably a dumb idea, but I'm full of those dumb ideas, if you know me from school. Um, yeah, this is the track I was talking about earlier, Bull Run, um, Hills Road, the Hill Road track isn't on here at the moment, but that pretty much just goes around there and then down, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to clear my glasses, okay, check the camera. Okay, right. Um, don't expect me to do borderline. I'm not going near that. It's grade four. I am nowhere near ready for that. Yes, yeah, so we just came down that valley along the there. If you can see the track, um, I'm probably being stupid doing this, um, doing wetter. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much okay as long as you know how to control slide. I can as long as I'm in a controlled environment where I know the conditions aren't going to change. Like say concrete. Concrete, if it's wet, pretty much gives you the same amount of grip as if when it's dry, depending on what your got tires are. Um, I've got Maximus tires, which is pretty common, so I've probably got just as much grip as anyone else if they've got a giant bike, because giant pretty much uses only Maximus and some other tires. But um, yeah, so this is wetter. It's got clay corners like Electric Avenue, but it also has drops. Now, if you look at the ground, it's muddy. I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, there we go. Pugh. Mud in the face, never good. Okay, so there's a couple corners that will be horrible. This is one of them. Yep, slide it around that. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna jump this. Look, that's why. <sighs> you always gotta be careful of mud. Sometimes that'll look like it's Okay, puddles are the worst because they'll just be like, oh, water, just go slow through it, you'll be fine. What you don't realise is the mud underneath it is what's going to make you skid. <sighs> okay, here we go, drop. As long as it's not wet after it, which it is, but as long as it's not too wet after it, 
I'm good. Oop, you probably heard the brake fade. God, I'm just, yeah, that's um, not brake fade. That's just something on my brakes that'll get sped off. Or well, there's something in my tires. Let me check. No, nope, my tires are good. Don't know what that was. Last time I heard that, there was just a stick in my rims. It's probably just something sitting on my brakes. Uh, yeah, as I said earlier, this is probably a dumb idea. I am just making myself look dumb at the moment, but I don't care. Uh, this is a pretty dumb idea when it's wet. Because um, wetter is, the hills around here, the bedrock, which is a term used as the rock you can't dig underneath, it will dig up, um, is clay around here. The YouTuber I watch, BCPOV, I'll leave a link to his channel. He's from Canada, as you can tell, BC, British Columbia. Um, over there in BC, they get um, granite. Granite has heaps of grip when it's dry. Uh, well, he says that. I don't know because I don't live in Canada, but you know. Um, yeah. So, me and my brother Bailey watch it. Bailey's my middle sibling. Okay, this is the corner I was talking about earlier. This one's horrible. I am hopefully gonna be fine. Yep, it's got a lot of gravel, so it should be good. And as I was saying, British Columbia gets a lot of quartz underneath the lead rock. And I'll leave a link to this, his video where he does basically what he, I call, well, he does a track called Slab City, which is basically, because the whole track is quartz. I mean, not quartz, granite. But don't know if I said quartz earlier, sorry about that. Um, the sledding. Uh, yeah, but quartz gives a lot of grip. But, um, yeah, I'll leave you to see what he does. But clay, on the other hand, isn't all that grippy when it's dry, but it's enough to keep you steady. <laughs> but sometimes it's pretty, sometimes grip is bad. Like, if you're doing a downhill race, you kind of want to be able to skid a little bit. So, I'm, I don't know what the most grippy rock is, like natural rock, not concrete, obviously. Concrete is used because that is grippy. But, um, well, used on footpaths, that's what I'm meaning. I'm never going to do that jump, so don't even try me. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll leave a comment in the, de I mean, leave a comment, duh. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to that video, and you can subscribe to him if you want. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh gravel's coming off my tyres because of the mud. I'm just going to slow down. Okay, so, those are my tyres after that. It's just annoying me. Um, yeah, just a bit muddy. So, um, here's my opinion on wetter. It's fun. Just don't do it when it's wet. <laughs> okay, um, just for YouTube's rules, I survived, obviously, but um, please don't demonetize me for crashing. I don't know about, I don't know what the guidelines are for it. I don't know if showing somebody die, crashing or injuring themselves is good. Just gonna jump the speed bump. Got it. Okay, I'm just gonna check the track out before I do it because the last thing I wanna do is go flying into wet clay, which is what the series made of. Okay, just check it out. Gonna roll over it just to see. Excuse me. Okay, it's pretty grippy. Oop. Okay, apart from that. Okay, I'll just take a shortcut. Okay, I think we're good for jumping it. Ugh. Yeah, you can't, you probably can't see the way upper legs. Even though I stand up, but I'm covered in mud. All right. Okay, so I've already done a video of being down here, but uh, I'm just gonna call this Electric Avenue and Wetter. Um, 
yeah, I'm not going to do them separately. Um, I'm sorry if I've already done Lynch Gibbon and Weta. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> so I've been there before, I know that. I've done this jump over here before, I know that. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to do another lap, but uh, let me know if you want to see me doing 4 degrees, which is an uphill only track, um, two way track. Don't know why it's the only uphill track you can do, apart from the 4x4. Four four. But who knows? The track people around here are pretty smart with their track names, not so smart with their ideas on what type of track it is. But anyway, we're just gonna cruise around. Okay, I'm gonna line myself up for the jumps. Sit down, speed up. Okay, big drop. Okay, one, cleared, two, cleared, kind of. Oh. High gears, <laughs> changing down. <sighs> okay, um, yeah, these jumps are too wet. I'm gonna probably crash. So, yeah, so subscribe, click the notification bell. I uh, try to upload every weekend, depending on weather. I'm sorry if I can't, but uh, yeah, so stay in mind, keep that in mind. See you next time. Peace out.